Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. Today I'm going to tell you how we have absolutely zero waste of our goat hay. If you're like me and have been owning goats for any length of time, or maybe you're looking into getting goats and you're researching a lot about them, you'll know that goats enjoy wasting a lot of their hay. When they eat hay, some of it, or oftentimes a lot of it, ends up falling on the ground, and then they step on it and poop on it, and they don't eat it ever again. And for many people like me, it's a constant headache. Is it super wasteful? You spent good money on that hay. Oftentimes it's really high quality, organic, awesome hay. So like me, you've probably watched a lot of videos like this one, looked at a lot of blogs and Pinterest posts, looking for ideas of less waste goat hay feeders. You've probably seen a lot of titles like no waste or zero waste or other words describing the ideal concept of all of the hay going from the hay feeder to the goat's mouth without any of it falling on the floor. And the fact that you're watching this video probably means that the titles of most of those blog posts or YouTube videos you've clicked on haven't actually been what they claimed they were and that your goat's hay still gets wasted. But the fact that you are watching this video also shows that you still have hope that someone out there has found the perfect solution to not waste any goat hay and you just have to research hard enough and then one day you'll find this obscure post that some obscure person has made who has found the long awaited and sought for way of not wasting any goat hay. And the content of this video is going to be mostly what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Though I have done extensive research, probably like the rest of you guys, I have come to the conclusion that there is no perfect hay feeder that will 100% not spill any hay ever. I know that's not what you want to hear, and at this point you probably are wondering about the title of this video, but before you give up and click out of this video, let me explain the second part. I've already told you what you don't want to hear, now I need to tell you what you need to hear, and that is that you can have no waste of your goat hay, but you have to shift your thinking a little bit. Instead of focusing on the no waste hay feeder that will prevent all hay from falling to the floor and being wasted that way, you need to instead accept that you're going to have hay falling on the floor and not being eaten by goats. And instead think of what to do with that quote unquote wasted hay and turn it into an asset instead of a liability. Today I'm going to share what we do with our spilt hay. Notice I'm not saying wasted hay because it is not a waste. It's actually a huge asset and something I enjoy. It brings a smile to my face and an uplift in my spirits whenever I see it. Instead of thinking, oh my gosh, these awful goats are wasting so much awesome high quality hay that I worked so hard to find a good source for and that I spent so much money on, they're so wasteful. So when I look at this, I no longer think of this as goat feed. I've just shifted my thinking. Instead, I think of this as garden mulch. Once you have it pointed out to you, it becomes so simple, but sometimes you need it to be pointed out to you and finally burst your bubble of hope and say, no, you're not going to find the perfect hay feeder instead of looking for a solution to a problem that doesn't have a solution. Just take away the problem. What you're looking at right now is one of the best things I could put on my garden. Not only is this weed suppression, but it'll also hold in a whole bunch of moisture. It will keep the soil loose so that roots and water and bugs can more freely move around in it therefore more easily keeping more life in the soil and benefiting my plants and that's just all the hay itself is going to do with the added goat poop and pee in the hay you're going to get all the nutrients from that into your soil feeding your plants as well so you can see why i'm super excited to put this on my garden some of you probably already do this or maybe you don't have a garden, or there's some other reason that this particular instance of turning a liability into an asset won't work for you. But hopefully this video can still be helpful to you in that perhaps you have other situations on your farm where you have liabilities that you're trying to fix, and that maybe like this hay situation, you can apply the same concept to your other situation. And I hope there's at least one person watching this video who is just blown away by this idea, never thought of it before, and was helped by this. Hopefully I've been able to shed a bit of wisdom and learning that we've experienced and pass it on to you, either in this particular instance, or that you can apply this principle to some other instance, and that you're able to learn from our successes as well as from our mistakes and make your homestead better. Thanks for watching! Okay, so this whole time I'm trying to film a very important video, I'm having baby goats 
chewing on me, jumping up on me, loving on me, messing with my tripod, getting in the way. I'm trying to film, little girl. You can't stop 